Welcome to our series of short videos which are designed to rapidly enable you to leverage the capabilities of Automation Studio. In this video, we will look at the objectives of the tool and at the user interface elements which make it easy to create sophisticated automation workflows. In follow-on videos, we'll drill down into various use cases. Automation Studio leverages NICE's 15-year experience in successful process automation implementations in enterprise environments. It enables business stakeholders and automation developers to develop Develop real business value by easily turning repetitive tasks into faster, more accurate, and consistent automated jobs. Automation Studio is a hybrid tool combining a native desktop client with a cloud platform, which allows us to continuously deliver additional features and enhance security. It is the next generation of the NICE Automation Designer, incorporating a completely new UI and state-of-the-art user experience. Unattended, attended, and cognitive automation workflows are supported as well as any type of connectivity, object-based, surface, or via an API. Let's start by looking at the user interface. Automation Studio is an HTML5 application. Note the multiple panes which enable you to work on multiple workflows consisting of steps, decisions, objects, functions, events, and variables. An Automation Studio project can consist of multiple workflows which are independent of each other. Workflows are the logical containers that orchestrate the moving parts in an actual overall process in a coherent manner. By clicking on the Workflow tab, we can open the workflows and by clicking on the plus button, we can add new workflows. The Objects tab contains steps and asset collections. Steps can be dragged from the Objects pane onto the working canvas, which is the main working area. They can be renamed by double-clicking, let's call this step Test, and connected to other steps by dragging the black nodes. The Assets collection contains functions, variables, and instances that can be associated with a selected step by dragging them into the Action Builder, for example, copying text into the clipboard. Let's look at an existing workflow. In the following videos, we will learn how to create and configure workflows like this one. This workflow starts an external monitoring program, gets an email from the inbox, and examines the subject of the email. If the subject is backup, the body of the email is written to a file. If the subject is something else, a timer is used to wait five seconds and then pull the mailbox again. The Action Builder pane can take functions and events from the built-in services collections. For example, the monitor step uses the execute command line function from the command section. Looking at the Get Mail step, we see that it uses a Get Mail Item from Inbox function under MS Office and Outlook. One way to process the mailbox item is to create a custom instance or variable. Variables can be simple, such as text, number, or date, time, or complex, such as Outlook mail items or HTTP requests. In the following videos, we will learn how to create and use variables. In addition, we can create and use screen elements, which allow us to easily interact with applications. In this example, we are utilizing object-based connectivity technology. In the use case videos in this series, we will examine when it makes sense to leverage screen elements and how to use them. Thank you for watching this video. There's lots more to learn, so we look forward to seeing you again in the use case videos, where you will learn how to create and leverage objects and screen elements. Bye for now.